Yo, what's up? We got J5 in the building. This is Brando from What NYC Sounds Like, and we got one of the most consistent right now, one of the hottest in the city. He's going crazy. Jay, what's going on? What's the word, buddy? What's up with you? Doing great, man. It's good. It's good. To, it's good. To, it's good to get you in here. I remember when you like when the sweepers started getting attention, <clears throat> and a lot of people first found out who you are. You used to um, hide your face a lot. You know, you still wearing a ski right now, but it used to be like way more mysterious. Is that like still a thing that you're doing? Are you not doing that anymore? Like, what's your image right now? I'll soon go back to that. Oh, I'll yeah. Think about that type of That's just for me. Right now, I'm chilling. Okay, okay. What, what was the decision to, to do that in the first place? Bitches always telling me I'm cute and shit for me, and I'll be hot on my face, so I had to fake show my face. <laughs> I think. We need a camera on, on Jay Hound, yo. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, now nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, but yeah, like while that time period was going on, WNA was going crazy. Nikki was going crazy. The sweepers were like, and still are like the main topic. What was it like, you know, seeing that, you know, you wasn't able to be a part of it like during that time period? What was that like for you? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was saying this out of a jail cell, just for me. I was that shit was stressful, but I was hearing the bros going up. I'm hearing my son S dot on the radio. The CEOs coming up to me talking about J Ham, S dot and Nas, and it's like, I don't know, man. That shit was just like making me Oh, wait a minute. That shit was just making me mad happy in it, but that shit for me. Yeah. Made me feel like my niggas still doing right. Damn, okay, okay. So while you were while you were in jail, you felt the momentum, like people were telling you about it. Hell yeah. For sure. Okay, okay. And then, um, and then you got out, and it was it was almost like you were able to create your own wave. Like you, like of course you were part of the sweepers, but it's like you were able to get get your own fan base, get your own motion. What was that like getting out, dropping? I came out and I told my means for me. I told my sweepers, I'm like, yo, I'm better than all y'all niggas you heard. <laughs> so I think just had to start walking and shit like that because they was they was bugging. Like I was locked up, they was bugging, and I had to come home and I just had to put mad work in. Right. You never know when it's gonna be your last day, so you think gotta be consistent, like. That's how I feel. Damn. Okay. Okay. Do you guys have like a lot of? I remember when we when we when we spoke to Jay, he was like, "Yeah, I see a lot of like comparisons, like people trying to say who's the best sweeper or whatever." Do you guys have like friendly competition? Or, like, I'm gonna keep it. Like? A, I'm gonna I'm keep it all the way a buck. I was lying. As I fake the best sweeper in my eyes type shit, yeah. but it's like my son Jay Ham fake on him. Like it's like that's the only competition I really see. Like me and Nas, we be chilling. Like we just be rapping, bro. As Dot and Jay fake like. Right here to each other, like they fake and JM fake got it right now, like okay, okay. That's how I for me, I, I only reason I say that is because as that fake made us who we all type shit, but Jay like solidified it, like Jay just showed like what he could do without everybody, like that's why we call him the ticket. So it's like for me, oh, that's fine, okay. That's that's what's up, that's real humble of you as well. Because a lot of people, you know, have their own opinions, they say you're the best, Jay the best, that's not the best, nah, so yeah, nah, I'll be for me. I'll, I'll feed off them. Whatever they do, I'll be like, oh, I bet. That's what I got to do. And I start, for me, that's how I do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, speaking of Dot, you know, he's locked up right now. We wish him the best. Um, it was just interesting. Like, when he first came out, or not when he first came out, but when you guys first started getting attention, they, there was a lot of, um, oh, that's Rax? Stop fucking calling me. I'm upstairs <laughs> doing the interview, buddy. Yo, yo, we might as well. Yo, yo, how did you get tapped in with with, with Rax? It's like he's like an honor. He's like a sweeper at this point. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, he is. I ain't gonna lie. What had happened was for me, he fake. I what song they made? They made Eater. Yeah. And I'm looking. I'm like, yo, who this Daryl nigga? Like, <laughs> why? Like, why I'm not on this song? Like, why he taking my spot? Type shit. That's how I felt. So I fake. <laughs> I'm looking into. It, I'm like, why? Oh, but he fake talking. But I ain't want to tell them that he fake was talking because I feel like the niggas left me out. So what happened was, for me, my manager fake introduced me to the nigga. I still ain't like him. I still, like, I don't know how to explain it. He was just some, he was a weird kid at first. Then we start building a little bond. He started recording me. I guess he had his, he had the right, for me, the homemade studio or whatever. He pulling up on me, portable studio. We start recording. We start locking in. We start, like, we going everywhere together. We just too deep. We going around everywhere, bro. That's really my man. It's like, I look, that's like my little brother. Like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. But I met him through my manager. Nah, okay, that's fine. so. So, so before either, you didn't even know who Rags was. <laughs> I knew. Nah, I fake. Nah, I didn't. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. And um, 
It's interesting because it's like it seems like he just started making beats, and the next thing you know, he's like your main producer. Like that was interesting. Did, you, did he just tell you, "Yo, I'm about to start making beats"? Or I'm like keep it a buck. I think he made one beat for me. I think woke it down. Then he just like he come to my house. Him and somebody named Spoonick, you heard? They come with just beats like back and forth. And just, I was watching other beat producers and stuff like they violating my music. They putting like what's that? I feel like they putting locks and shit on YouTube when I drop the music and shit like that. So I'm like, I right, bet. Rax not Rax is like that's my brother, you heard? So it's me. I only, I only go to Rax and Double M. That's the only two people I let make beats for me. Everybody else, you can't for me. You fake, you ain't getting that to me. Wait, you said they used to do what on YouTube? They, they used like, to. They used to like, how I explain it? Like they fake a volley me, like they claim it or they had to try to take my music down off the beats and stuff like that, and it'd be oh. mad weird to me, like. So it'd be like I don't know. I just start using Rax and Double M only. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Okay, okay, and um, yeah. So yeah, so. Him and Rax are definitely locked in. Make sure y'all go check out Sweeper Baby. What was it like making that that project? You know, it's your first project, so it's a big deal. It is, but at the same, I don't know how to explain it. It's like it's regular to me. I freestyle. If you know me, I freestyle every song. Like them songs was nothing. I'm making 15 tracks a day. I just keep going. So it's like for me, it was just like I'm just dropping these songs just to put it out, promote it, let the world really hear me and stuff. I got way more shit in the stash. Okay. Now on that project, you also have a song called "Banned from Boston." Like, what is? Are you you banned from Boston? Like, what's going on? I was waiting on to talk on this. I'm never. <laughs> I'm not banned from Boston. You heard, but like, I don't like me. Nah, not me. But my manager probably is banned from Boston. To be honest, I feel like after it took a ticket of events and stuff like that, it was like crazy. Like, I don't even like for me. I'm not banned from Boston. My manager is though, and I gotta make sure he's sturdy. Or so. That's how I feel. <laughs> Anybody oh. from Boston and fill away, I got love for y'all. I try to show love to y'all, but if it is, it is what it is. Okay, okay, and um, that like the the backstory behind it was it was it something to do with I a got sh- this? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what happened was, look, Rax in the building, yeah, FB. Oh, we got Rax oh. in the building, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. He just back walked baller. in. Russian bowler, more <laughs> or less. What happened was, you heard, we going to perform a show or whatever. Boom, show love for the fans, mind you. We get there, some nigga fake. He walking with his female or whatever. They mad hype. I already knew something was wrong because they didn't even know who Jay Han they, well, they act like they didn't know who Jay Han was. If you know me but don't know Jay Han, I know there's something going on. Mm. Jay Han too lit. So, for me, they fake pulled up on us. They pulled up on me. They're like, yo, Jay Fowler, ah, he performing. They walk away. I give the nigga a whole dap and all that. They walk away. I look back. All you hear is Jay Fowler, eat my dick. I'm like, what? <laughs> whatever, boom. For me, my manager did a bid, so you know how that go when you got a jail to go on your team or whatever. All you hear, you see niggas looking at us, niggas trying to hop out the car, play crazy. My manager just said the words, yo, you transgressing? <laughs> I, I, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, what's going on? You heard? I, Jay Ham, Jay Ham, he know he the rapper. Jay Ham start pushing up. I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? We start, for me. We start just walking over there to find out what the situation is. We, like, we don't really get into that. We walk in to find out what the situation is. Nigga fake try to transgress real quick. Two seconds later, somebody on the floor. I'm looking. I'm like, oh, shit. For me? I look at my manager. He recorded. Like, stupid nigga. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> it's mad shit going on. Nigga on the floor. My manager looking like he tough after. I know he's soft. So, it got me tight. Like, now he really think he crazy. Like, for me, I really know him. So, it's like, that's really what it was. Like, right. somebody was playing. I laid out. So this was like right before the show? Yeah, right. We, it was no show. It was oh, right oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm then they pulled up. They ain't even want... They, like, they wasn't even like... They was playing talking about, yo, just come inside. We still going to pay. We'd never do a show over there again, brother. So don't even worry about it. Damn. I don't think nobody should do a show over there. Oh, more or less. Yeah, nah. Yeah, I'm not jacking that. Like, they security was messed up. Everything was whack. Messed up. They violated us. And this was a fan that was at the show, right? Like, they was there Brody, for the show? These niggas, these, I searched up the flyer after and they was performing. So it's like, it looked like if they was trying to like set us up from the start. Oh. Then they like, they, come on, I don't know, man. I sure was, it was effy. Damn. All right. So, so, so you dumb, so are you dumb? Because like Boston has a big drill audience. I do know that. That's probably why you guys were out there for the, but you done with Boston or you, we'll nah, see. Nah, nah. We'll see. Jack's, <laughs> I got love for certain shit in Boston. Like, I could still go out there and show love. Yeah. It's just. I don't want to go out there with my manager. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I feel like I don't know. Like, they probably looking for him and signing. Like, I don't know. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
Yeah, so that was banned from Boston again off of the Sweeper Baby track, um, off Sweeper Baby Project J Five, executively produced by Nine One Seven Racks. On that tape, we also have Dead, right? And we you dropped the video for, it, and it it caused a lot of commotion. Um, for those who don't know, he dropped the track called Dead, and the video, um, it was at a graveyard site, and we saw a lot of edits of. You know, you want to speak on that? Like, what was the what was the video about? Like, what was the process doing that? What was the idea behind that? I ain't gonna lie. I'm pulling my cameraman under the bus. <laughs> so for me, my son get beat or whatever. He told me like, yo, let's go shoot this video or whatever. I was I was playing stalling on it. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot it, but I got mad at the videos in the car. I ain't really care too much about it. Yeah. Boom, cause the video like for me, we get whatever. We get to the graveyard or whatever. I'm looking all p to those people, bro. Like for me, I'm getting a lot of backlash from that. All peace to some of those people that was there for me. May God rest your soul, you heard? It's just, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's like, it was a video shoot. It wasn't towards them people. Like, I was just there just expressing my feelings about how I feel about these other people. Okay. And it was like, for me, it took, like, a dramatic event to the comments and shit like that. But that was really just like, yeah. I went to a graveyard, had my shovel. Shit like that. Okay. Saying okay. the niggas I say who I smoke because they smoke mommy, so that's who I smoke. Right. So, so did you know like that's what the video was gonna look like while you were doing it, or was it like a surprise when you got I'm the video keep it back? A stack. When I got the video and I seen it, I'm gonna be totally honest. I didn't give a fuck. I said all oh, peace to those people, but I'm gonna like feel me like you should get like it's not really like sign crazy like it's like it's just a video type shit like it wasn't meant how. People think it was meant to be type shit. Okay, okay. okay. I told my cameraman, I'm like, yo, y'all can re-edit this. He like, no. Like, <laughs> we got to like, it's going to take time. I, I'm so consistent, I don't want to wait. So I just like, I'm telling him, yo, we got to drop this. You're just send it. We out. We going to yeah. drop it. And like I said, we posted it on our page. Um, a lot of other a lot of other blogs posted as well. Um, just curious, like, what's your opinion on all of the blogs in New York City, the media in New York City, do you, do you tune in? Do you like the pages? Do you not like the pages? I ain't gonna lie. I love what NYC sounds like. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I love Please Don't Like. I love NYC. I love all the pages who show love and post my shit. Right. It's just, I don't care how it sounds. When I do something crazy, do not post it. <laughs> like, that's really what it's here for. Like, if I, for me, I love that y'all show love just to the other pages. If you post straight negativity about me, but not the good, you know what you could do. BMF. So, so you cool with the negativity being posted as long as they post both sides, or you just do you don't want to see? You can post both sides. Yeah. Of everybody else, do not post both sides of me. Just <laughs> post the good about me. Okay. That's it. Right, it's enough right. negativity about me. Do you think? Do you think some of the negativity, like, brings attention, like good attention yeah, to it, you? It definitely does. It definitely gives you more for me. Yeah. For me, more of a little like reason to go tune into you because people love negative shit. They don't like positive shit. They just love negative shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, shout out to NY Drill Official. Shout out, please don't like. Shout out sure. all of y'all. Shout out what NYC sound like. Shout out all of y'all. Um, and then in that, like when you get posted on certain pages, what is the what does the comment section usually look like? Like, what are some things about you that people say? They that- basically, like, they basically if you ask if you ask me, like they just like. Every time I read a comment, it's basically asking me to pull down my pants and just let them just eat my dick. Because they just constantly just like, they don't even be saying nothing good. They just be going crazy, I feel like. Like, I don't know what they think is against the sweepers. Mm. That's, I don't know. It be certain good comments, but most of it is always negativity. What do, what do you feel like the, the, the perception of the sweepers is right now? Like, what, how do people view the sweepers? How do people view you? Like, I'm going to be honest. I think people view us as... I don't know. It's straight negativity right now. Like since I came home, it's straight negativity. But that's not even us. Like, okay. Or okay. we trying like for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you see how they label us and what they call us. They think like we, for me, we just crash out. Man, it's they label us mad wish and we just all we trying to do is get out the trenches, move our families away, make money. Like we're not really trying to do what everybody think is happening. Like it's not us. Yeah. We still young game. We still like for me. We just doing music. Okay. Okay. Um, who was some of, who was some of your, your influences when it comes to I got two questions. Who was some of your influences when it comes to music? And then how, if at all, how influenced are you by Chicago and like the Chicago yeah. drill scene that, that went on? Because you know the sweepers, I see y'all wearing y- y'all got dreads, like it's y'all are very much New York, but it's kinda you know what I'm saying? So like what's your opinion on that? Uh keep it a buck. 
my like music wise, like I just thought I'd go. Yeah. And King Vaughn and Dirk, you know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be totally honest. Like King Vaughn and Dirk is like those is people I look at like y'all niggas fake nice. Like y'all fake from the trenches, y'all fake doing it a little different. Vaughn really, but for me, like y'all fake ain't doing it a little different, y'all fake. For me, I got the trenches. That's why I look at it like that and it'd be like, oh, I bet. And with the dread shit, it's like, you keep it a stack. My son GB, my son as thy brother fake. It wasn't even on no Chicago shit. Like, I ain't look at Chicago. I'm like, oh, I should get dread. My son GB fake started it with the dread shit. I'm like, all right, those fake calm. You are those fake calm. Then my son as thy just told me one day, me and as thy, like, not to say like that, we do everything. Like, like for me, like, my son be like, yo, we going through this. I'm be like, yo, you know what? Fuck it. I'll be like, we doing this. He gonna be like, fuck it. We just gonna go with the vibe. That's my brother. So it's like, he like, yo, we all getting dreads. We ended up getting dreads. Okay, let's take somebody like Lil Durk. You 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 know, you named him as somebody who's yeah. like, when you see Lil Durk, like maybe link up with someone you're not cool with or something like that. Is it like even a thing or it's like, I still work with Lil Durk one day or like. I'm gonna keep it a stock. I never seen Lil Durk really make music with no, like for me, nobody I'm not cool with. Like he figured he got a song with a baby. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not really nothing crazy. It's like. For me, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a kid, yeah. So it's like, I really be like, right, if I see Dirk, you I make a song with him, of course. I still, I still listen to his music, okay. So I really know that's real. Any, any females that you want to work with that's in the scene right now or that's coming up, whether they're from New York, not from New York, anybody? I'll be honest, no. <laughs> if I'm working with a female, I gotta be sniping you. <laughs> be honest, like, I got, I'm applying that, like, it's like, I don't, right now, I'm chilling, I'm gonna keep it a stack, like, I'm fake tired of these hoes, like. I'm chilling right now. Okay. But if I'm working with a female, I gotta be sniping. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, would you get into like a relationship with a female rapper? No. Nah. I wouldn't even get into a relationship. Not at all. No. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. What do you think about like you think that that type of like relationship could benefit your career, like or benefit a rapper's career in general? I ain't like, what do you think what do you think about J Dot and Maya right now? <laughs> I ain't gonna cap girl. I'm happy for them I ain't gonna lie I feel like Op Love is the best love Oh yeah? That's how I feel Like Op Love is definitely the best love But I just feel like If you have a rapper girlfriend You gotta understand Like not to say like that That everybody needs somebody You need to have connects You need to make songs with other people You need to do certain shit like that So I don't want you to think That your girlfriend is not going to the studio Making songs with other people And it's not niggas that's bigger than you that she's that's gonna apply pressure and be on that. They're gonna hound her, mm. and it's not that hard to get out them jewels when it comes to a female. Females, I'm not saying Maya. Right. Females in general, they giving it up. They rapping, they clapping, they giving it up. <laughs> <laughs> they rapping, they clapping. All right, all right, all right. For sure. Let me just let. I forgot. I just want to take it back. Like I wanted to do this in the beginning, but let's just circle back, right? Can you just tell me what it was like growing up in Douglas? Because a lot of people, a lot of people get confused. Like they say you're from Harlem. They say there's still that confusion. So let people know like what Douglas is, where it is, you know, just what it is in general. All right, Douglas is the Upper West Side, Manhattan. Harlem starts on one tenth. How do I so I really like but Harlem? People know not to dare call Douglas Harlem. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like, like you should really know that like, we from the Upper West Side. Like that's where, like, we from 104th, Columbus, Amsterdam, Broadway, mm, Central right there, but not really Central. It's like Manhattan Ave. It's, that's the avenues right there. We different than Harlem. Harlem's a whole different ball game type shit. That's how I feel. Okay. So did y'all get like offended, or is it just more like miscommunication? Like we're not. You just want to make sure it's not. Like what? What? What is that? Like when people say you're from Harlem, or is it even a thing? Right. I feel like if you from Harlem, you either got robbed before or you got something done to you. Like, Harlem is just, I don't want to be known for being from Harlem. Like, Harlem is like something happened to you. It's like, for me, yeah. I'm from, <laughs> my manager from Harlem, bit ass <laughs> nigga. He's from the Bronx, Harlem, dirty, more or less. I'm from Manhattan, you are. I'm from Upper West Side, Douglas, you are. We not from Harlem. I took offense to that. If you tell me I'm from Harlem, you know what it's hand for. Don't tell me I'm from Harlem. So. All right, all right, all right, okay. Um, and then do you do you get confused from being from the Bronx still, or not really, or is that still a thing? Because like people put Bronx drill, people kind of put everybody like in the same bucket. Like if you're not from Brooklyn, it's Bronx drill. Do you experience that at all, or not really? I'm gonna keep it a bad. Like it's like 
We fake. If you look at, I don't know. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I feel like I do get caught up in Bronx trail, but it got to the point where I feel like Manhattan, Harlem. It's not. It's not no Harlem drill no more. It's not really like back then. It's like everything is Bronx trail. Like it's Bronx artists that's dissing us. We dissing. We dissing Bronx artists that like, we fake fell into that category and just made it all this type shit. Yeah. Besides the people that still lit, even though it's not really nobody that's really too lit from the Bronx, except a couple people. Oh, you think at this point there's not a lot of people that's lit from the Bronx? Nah, yeah, I feel like people fake fell off. They still like, they still lit, but it's like certain people that fell off. That's not who they was before. Mm. Like even if you diss me before you diss me, my shit, sweepers yeah. and all that. It's like I still like, I used to listen to y'all music. I, I don't care if you are a so called album, but if I listen to y'all tunes, gang, y'all fake not hitting how y'all used to hit. Okay, okay. So, so you so. You used to listen to, to the Ops music like back when it was fire. Nah, yeah, hell yeah. If you still fire now, I still listen to your music. I ain't going to lie. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I, it's, just, it's just like, this. I just feel like there's a lot of confusion because even with the people you diss, like most of them are from Harlem or they're from the Bronx. So yeah, people that's what might. I'm um, and you say you did listen, you used to listen to the Ops music. Like, you saying like who I think was like nice or something? Or too nice? Or who's nice, yeah. Like, All right, nice. I'm going to keep it a stack. I don't know, like, I feel like, obviously, I'm going I'm to name, I'm not going to name, like, you see a Shaji, do you think of them, and it's like, my son, that's the end, I'm not going to name them, that's a whole nother, like, that was the, my, that was my man, so I can't really name them, I'm going to name people that's, like, on the other side. Yeah. Like, Shy K used to be nice, I'm going to keep it stack, be love, nice, 150 Wiz, nice, for me, like, from the Bronx, I, I don't know, man, Eat Our Baby, he fake was nice to me, that was my son. Yeah. It was nice to me, certain shit like that. And just because you brought him up, I think it's interesting. You said, "Eat our baby." That was my son. Like, what do you mean by that exactly? Like, I grew up with them. Oh, you did? You grew up with Eda? I grew up with them. Oh, like what was that? Like, like to what extent? Because he's from Sugar he's from he's from Sugar Hill, more or less. My pops fake. My my father fake. Live, he live over there. Like for me, so I fake used to be over there a lot. I grew up over there, type shit. Three fifth to Hamilton Heights to the Hill, type shit. Like for me. So that was like that was my means. All of them, they really was my means and shit like that. But it's like it's not like I don't know how to explain it. Like I don't like because I never been the type to be a dick rider. I could be cool with two different sides with her, and it's like niggas can't say nothing to me. I show love to who I show love to. But when y'all start pushing that button and starting to like trying to make me pick a side and shit like that, that's when it's like I never been I never been a soft type. I'm not gonna jack y'all making me pick a side. Now nah, it's just gonna be me versus y'all type shit. Okay. That's how that really escalates. Okay. So, so like historically, like you and the sweepers, like or your block in general was cool with Sugar Hill at one point. Nope. Oh nah. They was called you. I was cool with Sugar Hill. Like just me being who I am. Like I feel like I'm different. Like I don't have to like. I'm not a dick. Like I said, I'm not a dick rider. I'm not gonna pick one side unless you try to force my hand for me to pick a side type shit. Okay. Like I was, I was jacking Sugar Hill. I was jacking Douglas. I'm from Douglas. So they getting upset. Like, my grandmother from Douglas, my grandmother raised me. I lived in Douglas. They getting upset because I'm chilling with Douglas niggas. Mind you, I'm not even Sugar Hill K. I'm still not. I'm not over K, nothing. They getting upset because I'm with Douglas niggas. Niggas fake. Start pushing that button. Like, yo, you got to pick a side. I've never been the soft type. Once you tell me I got to pick a side, I pick my side. I pick me being me. You heard? So you're going to have to. It's me versus all y'all now. That's how I feel. And for me, Douglas, though, I just. Right. That's just my brothers right there. It's my brothers. Okay. Okay. I used to, I'm from, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I used to be cool with really everybody. Like, I used to play ball. I was nice in basketball. I'm going around. I'm playing ball with all these people. I'm chilling with these people. I was just, I was a friendly nigga. Okay, gotcha, you, gotcha, you, gotcha. You. you play ball? Yeah. I, I mean, I, mean, I, I used to. Now, I just, like, before I used to be like MJ, I used to be like Michael Jordan. Now I'm like, <laughs> now I'm like high spring. I'm like Scotty Pippen and sign. Like, Scotty Pippen is still the GOAT, but yeah. it's just MJ will always be MJ. Okay. Yeah. Facts. Facts, facts. Who you think is the MJ of New York Drill? Like, in general. J.M. Oh, J.M.? Hey, nah, regardless. Facts. Um, but yo, Five, I do want to I do wanna bring the attention back on you. Um, congrats, you have a child now. What's, 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 what's fatherhood like for you? Like, Bro, brody. Mm-hmm. My daughter made me the best version of myself ever. 
Like, but that's my best friend. Like, she make me look at females so different. Like, like I don't know how to like. That's just my best friend. Like, she the reason I came out of jail. If you don't know, you know. They was offering me three years. For me, my mom, my BM fake went to court with a letter saying the baby was supposed to be born September 11th, more or less. The judge ended up giving me a six five, letting me come home September 5th. My daughter was born the next day, September 6th, 12 o'clock. So as soon as I came home, I was out for like seven hours, and then I had to go straight to the hospital. My daughter was born. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, that's great to have to have to have a child at a young age. I'm sure that's life changing for you. Um, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that I did see on social media is you had your you had you had your child in like a ski mask. I know, I know that went crazy on Instagram. Nah, I ain't have my child in a ski mask. Oh, she, ski mask. she put the ski mask on herself. Oh. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. She woke me up with a ski mask, so I threw mine on. Okay, okay, okay. That's Brody. <laughs> Another thing that I saw was like a throwback clip of like some early J5 music. <laughs> and it was like heavy on the filmy, melodic. I don't know if you were influenced by anyone in particular, but it was like... On some melodic shit, <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't sound bad. I'm not going front. Like, what was that? Was that what was that like? That type of music when you was first making, and then you know, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it stacked. Growing up, I think I used to listen to some artists called Fly Raw type shit, and he was really melodic and shit like that. Oh. So I think seeing a video with him doing some funny little singing shit, I tried that shit out, and it was like that's how I went. Like, you feel me? I got my I got my sound right there. Playing on your shut up, Rex. I got my sound right there playing around. And then it was just like, for me, after that, I just, we just all drill rapping. But right there, I, for me, I was nice. For me, I got it from Fly Rod. Uh, and that was years ago. I'm sure if you tried now, it might even sound better. You think you would ever go back to that? Or like, what's. what's oh, now my phone died. I don't even. Nah. I, um. Yeah, more or less. I felt like. <laughs> Yo, I feel like I'll go back to that for sure. I be trying little shits here and there. Like I just dropped some shit called Birthday. I be trying little shit here and there. But I feel like nothing really sound how I used to sound. Like back then, back then I used to sound like I compare myself back then to Whitney Houston. Mm. Now it's like, <laughs> now I'm probably like Usher, oh. PB Rock. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yo, but just in general, what's your opinion on New York drill right now? Like, you feel like New York is, is making good music? Like, the Sweepers came out, they had their own sound, y'all had your own sound. It felt like a lot of people jumped on the wave, and now I feel like we're in, I feel like, well, let me ask you, what do you feel like? What do you feel like music is right now from the drill scene, from New York in general? I'm going to keep it, you guys have? it fell out, and I feel, I don't know, I'm going to be honest, like, I, I listen to like Chicago music. I listen to like for me other artists, but right now as in New York drill, I feel like Jay Hound got it. Jay Hound, for me, he got it right now. That's how I really feel. Yeah, if you could change anything <laughs> in life, what, what would you change? Like one thing. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. I really like all my charges type shit. Like that's mm -hmm. all my. I take away all my charges. I restart fresh. Even though I'm always innocent, it's just I got a daughter now. Nah, for me, I got For me, I just gotta get better. That's really what I change. Besides that, I change the nigga who make my beats. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I say really much. If you, if would you do the twenty verse one like rappers thing? Would you do that? I'm gonna keep it a buck. I get a lot of questions like that, and I think I wouldn't. It's like twenty v one. It's pointless to me because I always watch a nigga leave with one female. And it's like, that's really just not, it's not matching up, brother. It's 20 females there. You leaving with one. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, and then one more thing, one more trend that's going on. Like we see Aiden Ross and a couple other people like trying to set up boxing matches. Would you compete in a boxing match if everything was like done the right way? Nody Cuz knocked me the fuck out. Yo, gang, <laughs> I do not box, gang. If I listen, man, like, yes, you see, Flawless Dawn himself went to jail. I'm short. For me, I'm light skinned. They don't play with me. They don't They don't really get into that. They don't play with me, you right? They don't want to box me. But it's like, I don't box. Do not try to set me up with no boxing match. I'm going to box you. Do not do it. 
I'm not here for that. If All you right. want to buy somebody, boss my manager, as you can see. J5, thank you for coming through to what New York City sounds like. Let everybody know what you got out right now, what's coming. You know the vibes for me. I just dropped a tape with my son, 917 Racks. It's called Sweeper Baby, go tune in. I got way more coming for y'all in the stash. I'm going to have people dropping for sure for me. Y'all know how it's going. Sweeper Baby out. And we still got S.Go tape out. Y'all know how this goes. Free the sweepers, free dot, free nods. Thank y'all for having me.